let's talk about how to work with your baby during your birthing time. Sit with me for a minute and I'm gonna talk to you about how your baby is working during labor, just like you are, and what you can do to help your baby out so that you both are able to enjoy a beautiful, gentle birth experience and that lovely golden hour after. Now, just for sitting here today, I would love to offer you my ecstatic birth transformation guide. This guide is gonna walk you through actionable steps that you can start right now today that help you find the five steps to a more joyful birth experience for you and your baby. If you don't know me, my name is Kristen and I am a pregnancy coach. I work with mamas all over the world, helping them to have a healthy and enjoyable pregnancy and prepare for a great natural birth experience. I'm bringing you videos that give you an actionable tip that help you prepare to give your baby a beautiful beginning as well. Like I said, we're going to talk today about how your baby is working during labor and how working with your baby can lead to a gentle, smoother birth where you feel calm and confident during that beautiful golden hour with your baby. So let's jump into it. One of the biggest things to realize that many people don't is that your baby is active during your birthing time. Our modern world has childbirth simplified to this mechanical process that is completely uh, simplistic, I guess, to put it nicely. It makes it sound like you're going to the drive or to the mechanic and they're going to crank you open and then they're going to pull out a baby and then you guys are going to drive along on your way back home. That is such an oversimplification, it's such a male way of looking at the birthing process. The reality is that birth is very complex. It is a hormonal symphony and multiple things are going on in your body. It's not just dilation. There's so many changes going on with your, with your cervix, which is actually part of the uterus, it's not different. But so many changes going on in your cervix along with opening, it's also shortening. Your uterus is actually getting thicker and working hard and it is the real champion of birth, not the cervix. The cervix is just getting out of the way. Your pelvic floor is also doing a lot and the rest of your body is working hard as well. But even when I talk about that process and the hormones in your body, we leave out the baby, who is a really important part of birth. And I will tell you that obstetrics does consider the baby because it talks about the, 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 the passenger, and that's the baby, and the powers, and that's the mother's power, and all this nonsense, right? And we can think about that because it can be a helpful mental model at times. But the reality is, is, is you need to think about the fact that your baby is active during your birthing time. Your baby is active and that's the biggest thing to realize. Your baby wants to be born too. So I sometimes when I talk with moms about this, I say that, you know, we seem to think that like the baby is like just this watermelon or something, this melon that's just gonna plop, plop right out. It's like this big stationary ginormous thing. But the reality is, is that your baby's head moves, your baby's neck moves, your baby's shoulder moves, your baby's spine moves. So I'm, you know, kind of gyrating around on the screen here looking ridiculous. But the reality is, is that your baby moves and your baby moves actively during a labor. Your baby, this is the part of the head up here that is most likely going to be what's in the birth canal. And you just want your baby to be able to move and your baby will often work to find their way down the birth canal. So how do you help your baby with that? The biggest thing is that you change positions and you move with your baby. Changing positions, moving your body, especially moving your pelvis creates a lot of mobility. Even if you're in the hospital and you feel like there's little mobility, you can find mobility there. Getting up on your hands and knees, rocking and swaying, standing on your partner and swaying, bringing a birth ball with you. Number one tip that I recommend for mamas going to the hospital when I talk to my clients is like, make sure your husband's hauling that birth ball in if the hospital doesn't have one because you can get an incredible amount of movement in your pelvis in a very small space if you're sitting on that birth ball. So getting you and getting your baby moving because that can often create an enormous amount of room. Sometimes it just takes a little bit. If you've been trying to push and push against anything and you know that if I can move it just a little bit, real story, I was working on getting wood into the wood stove today and somehow managed to put this ginormous piece in and it got wedged so I couldn't get it the rest of the way in. But I knew that if I could just get it to jiggle a little bit, I could get it in there and that worked, right? So sometimes we just have to get a little bit of give and it's the same for your baby. So take cues from your body, listen to your baby, listen to your body. And especially if something's feeling uncomfortable, wait for the contraction to be over, but then change positions because it could be that your baby's just wedged in somewhere and they want to move. Or it could be that you need to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, pee, no longer have this big inflated bladder like a balloon pushing up against your baby. You feel more comfortable and baby can move down more easily. 
Make sure that you're listening to your body. Make sure that you're listening to your baby. Work with your baby, and that will help both of you enjoy a smoother, more efficient labor experience, a gentle, more confident labor experience where you're really listening to yourself. So again, I would love to offer you my ecstatic birth transformation guide. Just drop me a note. I will send that to you. It will help you prepare for a more joyful birth experience, and I will see you in the next video.